Okay, so you have one of these locked 14th Gen i5s and you want to undervolt it, maybe to get more performance out of it, because yes, you can get more performance out of locked i5s if you undervolt it, or maybe because you want lower temperatures, even though these CPUs are cold already. Maybe you just want a lower power bill at the end of the month, or maybe you're scared your CPU is gonna crash itself until it no longer works due to Intel's problems. Either way, this is the right video for you. So we're gonna show you how to do all that in this tutorial, and it's gonna work for every single motherboard manufacturer out there, and no matter which model of i5 you currently have it's gonna work little disclaimer first of all so make sure you have your bios updated to the latest version the one which includes intel fix for the problem you know uh, but with that aside this cpu is not really affected by the issue so you don't have to worry but still follow the tutorial trust me i5s are not really affected by the problem again i have a full video discussing why it's not all of these cpus it's mostly one specific cpu with this kind of issue let's get into the bios and let's start tweaking but before we do that my mission on the channel is to basically cover every single cpu and gpu out there even ram and show you guys how to tweak overclock and undervolt every single one of those so if the video ends up being helpful promise me one thing okay just will you please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if it is actually helpful for you anyways let's get started okay so here we are in the bios now listen i have a bios star motherboard it's from a video on the channel and now it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to do it here than in any other motherboard but it's gonna be the same no matter which motherboard you have so listen if you can't see the settings like if you can't understand how to do it in your motherboard go on my channel i have the cpu undervolting playlist and the cross reference how to do it with the other undervolting videos where i use my motherboards from different brands so for example go in my i7 14700f undervolting video and cross-reference the settings there okay sorry for the long disclaimer but it's important because the motherboard is a bit complicated so with that said let's go into the advanced mode now the first thing we want to do is to enable our xmp okay so enable this just uh, put it on enabled and then you want to test this so go into windows make sure it's not crashing and now after you've done that come back and let's get working i'm gonna show you two different things which you need to do now the first one is gonna be just if you want lower temperature lower power consumption lower noise that thing and you don't care about the performance so you want to go into voltage configuration which again this bias is pretty bad now into cpu vcore voltage you want to put adaptive well adaptive is in my motherboard in your normal motherboard is going to be called offset so you want to put the offset then on the sign you want to put the minus sign and then you want to put 0.05 this is if you want to just copy my settings so if you don't care about like testing out stuff just just do this okay this this little thing over here now you can just click f10 just save everything close everything and you're done so if you just want to undervolt your cpu just quickly you're fine you can drop a like maybe and subscribe to the channel and you can close the video but if you want to stay i'm gonna just give you a few tips and show you how to improve the performance also uh, in case this is not stable for you uh, it means you are a bit unlucky in the silicon lottery it's how it's called so the worst cpu out there is going to be able to do 0.03 so basically if 0.050 doesn't work you need to decrease it so you, you can also do 0.04 and test it but if 0.05 doesn't work and you crash a lot generally you want to go 0.03 and this is gonna work even on the worst cpu out there which hopefully is not yours on the other hand if 0.05 works for you but you want to do better you can go higher so the higher you go here the lower the temperature the lower the power consumption etc also you're gonna get a little bit of performance boost by going higher so if you're very 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 lucky you're gonna be able to do 0.07 i have not seen an i5 do better than this so 0.07, you're very lucky. Now, of course, if you wanna try, you can go higher. Maybe you're just the luckiest person alive, you can do more. But generally, 0.07 if you're very lucky. On my CPU that I have here today, I can do 0.06. That's the maximum I can do, fully stable, okay? This is it for the undervolting. But if we wanna get more performance out of it, there's something more which we can do. Let's go ahead and show you how to do it. If your motherboard has ring voltage and uncore voltages you can also give it a little bit of a decrease over here so you go into it you put adaptive and you give it 0.01 now the difference is going to be absolutely minimal guys okay but if you want to just spend time doing it you can do it if your motherboard has it now these are also called like cache voltage or system agent 
voltages pretty much but it doesn't matter i wouldn't recommend you guys do it i'm just showing it to you because in this biosphere motherboard is right here but it's not important what is actually important if you want to get more performance is that you go into cpu power management or cpu advanced options is what it's called in most motherboards and now the turbo power limit you see that we want to unlock that so just uh, go manual you want to disable the power limits where you can disable them and if you cannot disable them in some motherboards you cannot you want to put all nines into the power limits uh, of, of course it doesn't let me do it so you want to put 250 because they have a strange motherboard but uh, you put all nines or you disable it okay but i put 250 because the motherboard is weird now c states these make you save power in idle okay so if you care about your idle power consumption just leave them on uh, but if you don't care and you just want basically the snappiest possible experience with your cpu like uh, brian says from techia city just put it on disabled and it's gonna be a lot more snappy now one last thing which we can do again for performance is as follows so we need to go on the cpu ratio mode over here and basically put it on all cores right there now it's going to show you a ratio for the e cores and a ratio for the p cores so if you want just the maximum you go on your p core ratio and you just put 99 and it's going to just adjust to the maximum possible ratio so if you do this your cpu is going to run locked at the maximum frequency so again you're not gaining efficiency power consumption but you're gaining performance just a lot of performance out of it you can do the same on the e cores but uh, you know doesn't really make much of a difference they're usually already at the maximum but you can also do that and if you're really extra you can also do that on the ring ratio mode just just go fixed and just put the maximum it lets you do as you can see in my case it's 47 on the ring as well and if you do all this you have your cpu doing absolutely maximum performance which you can get uh, and it's also probably gonna run a little uh, cooler quieter and with less power consumption than at stock surprisingly even though you're getting more performance so if the video was helpful drop a like and a sub this time it's really finished and if you want to go check out on the channel i also have videos for gpus other cpus even ryzen stuff and also a lot of ram tuning lately i've been getting into so you may want to check that out and i hope to see you guys again bye bye